Hello everyone, welcome back to Chinatown Gang Stories. Uh, today I have a special guest and his name is Everett Demoy. He is a published author of 33 CISOs and also he's working on a new book called In the Ghost Shadows. It's a story about Peter Chin's life story. Um, I'm very happy to have you here. Thank you for joining our show. Thanks, Mike. Okay, I'd like to uh, hear a little bit about yourself and what are you doing with this project? So, um, yeah, I've been writing for about, about 20 years. Um, had four traditional books published, um, seven plays that were, that were produced, a couple of screenplays that are out there. And um, been working with, with this project, as you know, for, for uh, I think it's going on a year, year and a half. Um, and we have a, an agreement with Kensington and through Citadel, which is their, their uh, uh, Penguin publishing arm, and so far it's been getting a lot of a lot of positive uh, review. It's it's the story of Peter Chan. It's the story of 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 Kitai, who's who's never told his story before. So it's basically the golden age of 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 the Chinatown, you know, criminal uh, uh, criminal history. Um, but it's the story behind the story. So it it's real easy to take those. Well, actually, it's not in. In any other situation, it would be easy to go through newspapers and just stack those facts and go through and, and get the court documents. But there's so many errors because of the language issue and because a lot of people didn't talk then and a lot of people didn't really, really share the information. A lot of what, what is considered the facts are not the facts. So even if you were to build just the facts of a story, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be accurate. So we went and we did two things. First of all, we went back in and through that history, and, and through Peter's, you know, uh, uh, his, his not only just remembering, but, but being in the key parts and the key times of, 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 of that history in the 70s and the 80s, built what really happened, but then tied in the personal story. I mean, he, he came here when he was eight, you know, there was some, some you know, a very, very difficult family, um, you know, situation, and, and at 13, the ghost shadows became his family. Um, so we all had difficult choices to make. You know, we had this many choices. Peter had this many. Um, he chose this road. Um, he had less choices than a lot of us did, but, but, but that's the road that he took. And if the book does what it's supposed to do, it, it, it takes the reader, it allows the reader to see why he made those decisions. And, and at every route, you know, here I, I took a right here and I took a left here, but why he took a right and why he took a left. And then, you know, coming to, the, to, to prison and, and to what happened and to, you know, restructuring his life. And, and we were talking at dinner, Peter basically had three lives. He had, the, you know, the, the, the life with the ghost shadows, he had a life in prison, and then he had a life after. And the book hopefully ties those three lives together and allows the reader to not only take that trip with them, but to also know, because I, I had no idea about Chinatown. I had no, no knowledge of the culture. I had no knowledge whatsoever, but I, but I think that's a great thing. I remember when we first met, uh, you were a true crime enthusiast, or you love true crime, but you yep. couldn't find anything about the Asian uh, gang no. stories out there. No. In any books? No, there really, there really wasn't. There, there wasn't any. There, there was a, a couple of pinpoints here and there about this happened, that happened, but nothing, nothing that you could go in and find and really dig in. And 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 I've had hundreds of hours of interviews yep. with Kids Eye, and I'm sure you, <laughs> for the past year and a half, you've yeah. done a lot of research, and you, I'm sure you see a lot of mistakes out in in print out there. Oh am yeah, I, and and his yeah, there, there's a lot of that that we've corrected, a lot of that that we've that we've addressed. You know, in the book, talked about you know, hey, the, you know, this is how the media took this, and this is what really happened. And the reason we know this has really happened is because of A, B, and C, and and put some of those things together. And it's it's going to be the first time for, I, I mean, the goal is the goal was was to tell this history, but it was also to tell a great story to someone who doesn't have an interest in it. So the 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 widower from Topeka 
can can be just as as enthralled in this in this story and this life as someone who who is you know true crime and 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 New York and Chinatown, which which this book you know has. Mm-hmm. Any um, sneak peeks uh, that you can give the audience? Yeah, you know it's if if you if you know any, that time any, period. Uh, any key players? Uh... Yeah, so so the key players in the 70s and 80s, I, I can't think of many that aren't mentioned. Meaning, you know, Peter's the the Forrest Gump of China of Chinatown. <laughs> Peter Chen, aka Kid Side. Yeah, yeah, he 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 basically connected with with almost with everyone there in some way. Um, some more than others, and some you know passing, and also later on, there's some key you know Italian mob members that that he had relationships with, and he you know he uh, and that was in the seventies connected with yeah. Was, so he went in. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. He went in, I think, prison in eighty. Well, he had a he had a, a, a key relationship with that we'll talk about in the book that that, that became a, a a very important person that, that was a, a a member of the Lucchese family. Oh, okay. um, and that's mentioned. And then there are some big names that, that Peter became friends with in prison um, that, that, that are, and there's some connections there, connections there too, mm-hmm. and some names that, you, that you'd recognize. Mm-hmm. And they made money together before he went to prison? Yeah, they made a lot of money together. And, and not only the money together before, but there was a relationship. Um, the gentleman that I'm talking about that, that thought of Peter you know, as his godson, you know, visited Peter's family every week after, you know, Peter went in. It was, a, this was, you know, there was a serious relationship there um, that, that went beyond any sort of street business. Wow. So yeah. who, who would have guessed uh, the lead of the ghost shadow was uh, the godson to uh, an Italian mobster? Yeah, there, there's some great stories where, where you know, I won't give too much away, but Peter would go into this gentleman's office and the office would be you know, full of people waiting to see him. And as soon as the receptionist learned that Peter was there, they, you know, he got, people got pushed out and he got, you know, Peter got pushed right in. And it wasn't, it wasn't out of power. It wasn't everything. It was because they, Respect. they, they respected and they really liked each other. And he really thought a lot of, a lot of Peter. Yeah, he cons- and Peter Chin considered him as the god, his god. Yeah, he, he said he, that all. He, he introduced him as his godson and he, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Oh. It's a touching story too. Yeah, it's there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that, that that um, you know, human part and the connection part and the and and the, you know, I mean, my my fear was I didn't want to canonize him. I didn't want to, I didn't want to make Peter a, a hero. Um, but there's so many parts of this story that all I had to do was tell honestly. Just tell tell the yep. story honestly, yep. and uh, you're not embellishing anything. No, nope. you just tell you it just, like it is, and just and that's connecting. Why. Yep. And that's why I chose you for the job. I mean, we go way back. Yep. <laughs> Me and you go back to like what, 2016, right? 2016. Yep. Yeah. 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 At the. I uh, mean, I read your book, Thirty Three CISOs. And it was the goal was to do the same thing, almost in reverse. So, so to take. I mean, in Thirty Three CISOs, it's a, it's a fictionalized story that pretends that it's real. Mm-hmm. So with 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 you know, in the Ghost Shadows, it's a it's a real story that that. Tell, told in a literary novel way, mm-hmm. so it was sort of sort of the reverse. If it if it uh, if it works, and so far, I mean, it, c- it comes out next year. But you know, the publisher is very happy. The 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 agent is very happy. The 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 the, the reviewers and everyone and the editors are, are pretty happy. So we're we're excited to see what. Oh, I'm excited to uh, read the book. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited, especially uh, I know. Peter's story like the back of my hand now, especially spending all that time with him and getting all these interviews. Eventually, the uh, interviews will be released on this channel, Chinatown Gang Stories. I, I, I'll tell you the one thing that's interesting about it is we were we were working on, when, when we had to get the first draft into the publisher, you know, Peter and I were talking and we were working on the, one of, on the final chapter. So, so we'd gone through everything and, and we, you know, we're here working on this time period. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but Peter said, oh, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, wait a minute, wait, you, you, <laughs> never, you never ever told me this part. And he goes, well, I didn't think it was important. And I said, well, that blah, blah, blah makes, makes, explains this, 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 and yeah, this. Exactly, it connects the so, dots. So, uh, so it was amazing because we're at the end, but I had to go back, which was incredible, and I could now tie in all these things that never, that I didn't tie in before. Just like 
just like the Golden Star shooting, right? It's somehow in one way or another it was linked There's to Peter. There's so many and things like that. His assassination attempt a couple yep. of times, right? Yep. And the connection with, with James Mui that we'll talk about that, that, you know, opened up this, this entire just sort of, of, of thread that, that had so many impact later on. And, and his connection to the triads in yep. Yeah, and, and and yep, and and then you know connection with the with the with the West Coast, and then and then how that you know certain meetings would would show up later, and mm -hmm. so it's just it, it's amazing how everything just chains together. And how many pages of the book? I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I mean, it's it's eighty thousand words, seventy thousand words. So whatever that is, two seventy. Yeah, I know you can't fit this whole life story. There's a lot no, of you stuff can't. There. There's and, so and, much, and you have to take. And there's so much stuff that is. These are incredible stories, but you have to create that story. And you can't you can't pack a person's life into a book, yeah. but you can pack their story into a book. At one time, Ghost Shadows ran the whole Chinatown. Yep. you know that. Yep. Right? Especially you did your research. You got a story. There's so much. Uh, it's, it was connected to everyone. Uh, and, what's, and what's really you, interesting... You speak about Vincent Jew. Talk about Vincent Jew. We Sky talk Dragon. about Uncle Benny. Uncle Benny. Um, Sky we Dragon. talk about Onion Head. Onion we Head. talk about... Fox. Um, Fox. Uh, we talk about Dice. We talk Dice. about um, uh, scientists, professor. Uh, there, there, aren't many, there aren't many players during that time that, that, that he, isn't, he isn't connected to. And, and what's funny is Peter and I yeah. had walked out, and we, we, you know, we had before a couple of months Shrimp ago. Boy. Um, I, that was a story. I know the story. It didn't make it in there. It didn't make it in there. So didn't make we'll, it in we'll there. We'll talk about it on the yep. channel one day. Yep. So that didn't make it in there. But, um, you know, we had, we had walked through Chinatown before, but it was so early on that some of these stories weren't connected. And now we just did it again. We did it today. And we walked through. And what's amazing is when you think about the the coffee shop that was the outskirts when they mm -hmm. first started, which is which is way when you think of outskirts, you think of you know over here. Yeah. When you think of <laughs> outskirts, and then you think of the jewel, you know, which is it's two blocks. And you took a tour of Chinatown. Yeah, and Chinatown. so you're talking about you know this here is the place that nobody wants, that no money is made, and here is where the money is made. It's not 20 miles that way or 40 yeah. miles that and way. And you see how close Pell Street is to Ma Street. <laughs> We were we were talking, you know. Peter and I spent a lot of time today. Just we were talking about when, when you know, the professor was killed, and that street is a narrow street, and it is not like you know when you think about it, you think you're, you're you know this, this happened at a at a at a at a at a credit union. So you're picturing a modern credit union, mm -hmm. you know. You're picturing, you know, with a lobby, and they, well, this is not that's not what it is, and. And, and I'm going to take, with our final edit, I'm going to take some of the things today and make sure that, that that's in there. But, but it's also interesting that, that this assassination happened 2 o'clock in the morning with buildings that close and nobody heard anything. <laughs> that's why I think you're the perfect writer for this job because you start off with a clean slate. You have no idea None. about anything related to Chinatown gangs or anything like that. So you started with yeah. Kinsley, so you were able to tell that story from scratch. And yeah, you know, and, and, and I think as, as I question things, why did this happen, I, I put that in there. So I put the, so you know, I would stop and say, now if you're wondering why this happened, and then we would put that in to explain some of the, some of the culture and some of the, the, the history and some of the, because there's certain things that, 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 that were so normal, you know, to Peter that he would just talk about that I'm going, you know, as, as, a, as a middle class white guy, it just didn't make sense. But then, because I didn't understand how, that, the, how the culture was or how the culture is. And, and you have to, you know, put that in there so that, so, so the person just reading it as a story, you know, can experience it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he spent a lot of time in prison. I mean, there's a... A lot of prison 20 stories. Twenty years. There's still, some right? phenomenal prison stories, and a lot of a lot of things happened, you know, in prison, and a lot of, and he changed in prison, and he made some, you know, pr he, some some drastic, you know, he made some decisions, some life changing decisions. What's also interesting as is when we tell that prison part, you know, it's twenty years. We still let Chinatown. We still let the things that happen in Chinatown fit in. 
So, so as this is happening in Peter's life in prison, we're explaining that this is at the same time happening over here. I'm trying to picture how you wrote the book. Is it like a, in a linear fashion where it starts off uh, him coming to the U.S. and then becoming a gangster yeah. and then prison and then after prison what he did with his life? So, so what I didn't, there are two things I didn't want to do. I, I didn't want to tell it. I, I, I didn't want to ghostwrite it. I wanted to be a partner with, with Peter on it. Mm -hmm. But I also didn't want to do it. So many writers throw themselves into the story and say, when I first met Peter Chin, and to make it about them. I didn't want to, mm -hmm. but I wanted there to be a different voice. So my goal, my goal was as if I'm sitting in a bar stool telling you this story that I've heard. And, and that gives me the freedom to go back and say, Hey, if you're wondering about this, this is why this happened. Hey, an interesting thing, you know, interesting thing that when this happened over here, this happened over here. You're you you can you can stop and do that. So so I start I start from his birth, and we go to, you know, w what happened in in Hong Kong and and him coming here at eight and and going through. But it's also it also stops and explains some of the culture and some of the change. I mean, what's what's interesting at that time period, and and you know this, is that, you know, if you lived in Chinatown and you had a problem with your neighbor, you didn't go to the police. You didn't go to the, you know, you you you. There was an organization that you went to. You either went to, you know, the 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 criminal enterprise that 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 had that street, or you went to a Tong, or you went to you went to someone that connected, or you went, you know, you you solved it differently, mm -hmm. and and then. On Unless you know that, unless you put that in there, you know the reader isn't going to understand. You know the 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 connection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let uh, our viewers know where we can uh, pick up the book, pre-order the book. And yeah, when is it coming out? It's it's coming out. I I, I think it's uh, it's officially out January of next year. Um, you can pre-order it on on Amazon. I believe you can pre-order it on on Target and. The publishers, there's two, the Kensington publisher is the publisher, but they're also, Citadel is their, is their, um, is their distribution arm. So you can get it on the Kensington site, the Citadel site, Target, and Amazon. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for uh, giving us a little uh, insight yeah, into what you're I'm, working I'm on. I'm excited to be part of it and excited that you thought of me and, and excited that we were able to, to get here. Thank you, Everett. Thanks, Mike.